Okay, so in this video, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm just going to show you a couple of ways where you can run the analysis to look at what's known as the uh, post hoc analysis. So if you go up here to analyze, just like we've done, we're going to go to non-parametric, we're going to go to independent samples. All right, we've pretty much we've pretty much done everything. So if I go here, got my sperm count, got my number of soy, got my settings. Okay, so I saw, I told you guys in the first video not to worry about this, that we just ran the Kruskal Wallace. Um, there's two options that Andy talks about. You can do a pairwise or you can do a step down. Basically, the difference between them is the all pairwise runs every single group against one another. So no meals to one, no to four, no to seven, one to four, one to seven. So what that does is it increases the likelihood that you are not going to find significance. The step down, or the stepwise step down, what this does is it groups variables whose rankings are very similar, and it separates those that are that rankings are very different. So I'm going to run this first one just so you can see this. So we're going to do a stepwise, right? And we're going to run it. And so you notice this was the first one I ran. This was the second one you, one I ran. You get the exact same thing. So if we did all pairwise comparisons, and I double clicked on this window, I get this output. And so this is what's known as pairwise comparisons. All right, so this is the average rank of seven meals, average rank of no soy of the sperm. Remember, we're looking at sperm, but it's the rankings of four meals and of one soy. So if I scroll all the way down here, you can see what it's comparing. Seven soy to one soy, seven to four, seven to no, one to four, one to know and four to know. So it's running every single comparison. So when you are looking at this data from an analysis, you have to look at this adjusted significance value. And you will notice that in this adjusted significance value, there is no significant difference between the rankings of any of these variables. All right, so in essence, it's saying it doesn't matter how many soy meals a person consumes, it has no effect on their sperm count. Okay, but we're gonna I'm gonna show you one more analysis. All right. Um, in fact, let me just double click on this here real quick again. If you scroll, if you scroll down, you'll notice it's got pairwise comparisons. If I do my independent samples test view, this is again, this is the mean rank, mean rank, and it's showing you their sperm count and their rankings based on their sperm count all right so we don't there's no significant difference in this based on our pairwise comparisons go back to pairwise comparisons scroll all the way down there's no significant difference so we could at this point say it doesn't matter how many soy meals a person consumes it has no effect on their sperm count However, if we did the other option, which we ran here, and we did a stepwise, and I open this up, I get the independent samples view, it gives us the same thing, here's my mean rank, mean rank, and so forth. If I go down here and I change this, however, to what's known as homogeneous subsets, all this means is it categorizes the rankings that are similar to those rankings that are different. All right, and so what we find is it groups those that are similar. So the rankings of one soy, four, and no soy, their rankings are very similar. Notice 44, 44, 46. However, soy, seven soy meals per week, we have a ranking of 27. So this number is very different, and it's grouped all by itself. So when we start looking at this, this adjusted significance value tells us there's no difference between these groups but ultimately there is a significant difference between 27 and these groups. How do I know this? I go back over here to my significance and it told me there was a significant difference in sperm, in the rankings of sperm between the four groups. So I know that there's a significant difference of seven versus one, four and no.